How's it going, Jeremiah's? Finally, Yamaha has launched the long-awaited PSR SX600. This is an upgrade to the PSR S670, which was released in 2015, five years ago, and now it gets an upgrade. The thing about the S670 was that it was skipped over and didn't get a S675 upgrade, unlike the PSR S700 and S900 series. In today's video, I will be going through with you all the new features and functionality of this PSR SX600, as well as a couple of features which which even the Yamaha Genos flagship does not enjoy. But before we get started, here's a word from today's sponsor. Do you want to learn to play the keyboard with chords like this? I have a proven step-by-step -step course designed for Yamaha Casio and Cork keyboards that will help you to do that. At the end of this course, I will teach you everything you need to know to just open up a music book and start playing your favorite tunes with lush accompaniment rhythms with minimal effort. I will teach you to read music, play chords, and use the different sounds and rhythms on your keyboard. Check out the links in the description below for more information. Let's start by talking about the glorious color display on the PSR SX600. So it now comes with a 4.3 inch display, which is color. And this is actually the same size, the same dimension as the S670. However, this has more pixel density and it is now in color, unlike the S670, which was in monochrome. This is not touch sensitive, unlike the PSR SX700 and the SX900. The interface is pretty similar to the SX700 and SX900. However, due to the fact that it is not touch sensitive, there is a little bit of a variation. Next, let's talk about the keybed. This keyboard comes with 61 touch sensitive keys. And if you're expecting this key action to be similar to the SX700 and SX900, you will be disappointed because it does not have the improved FSB key action from the SX700 and SX900. The SX600 continues to use the same keyboard that Yamaha has been using in their previous S series of keyboards. Just like the SX700 and the SX900, this SX600 also enjoys 128 notes of polyphony. With the Yamaha PSR SX600, Yamaha is showing very clearly its intent about going after emerging markets such as Brazil, China, and Africa. And in this market, these are massive markets and Medelli has quite a presence there. And Yamaha in the SX600 has included specific styles and voices clearly for these three markets. Now let's get to the meat of this keyboard. The SX600 now has 850 voices and that is pretty much almost double of the number of voices found on the S670. And these include 73 super articulation voices, 27 mega voices that you can use in your style programming. And you also get 43 drum and sound effects kits. And this is actually more than the PSR S X700. On top of all this, you get 27 sweet voices, 64 cool voices, and 71 live voices, which Yamaha is so famous for. Unlike the Yamaha PSR SX700 and the SX900, where you can layer up to three layers of voices in your melody and on your right hand, the SX600 only allows you to use up to two voice layers. We cannot get away with talking about a PSR keyboard without talking about the styles. It is, after all, an arranger keyboard. In the SX600, we now have 415 styles, and that is a massive number and almost double of those found on the S670. Out of these styles, you can find 372 Pro styles, 32 Session styles, 10 DJ styles, and thankfully the SX600 now has a single free play style. 
other than the usual chord modes you can find on the Yamaha PSR SX series, the SX600 has now introduced the smart chord feature which you don't get in the SX700, SX900 or even the Yamaha Genos. So this smart chord feature was initially introduced in the Yamaha Remy PSS E30 and later on recently I reviewed the PSR E273 and that had the smart chord feature and this has now trickled down to the SX600. The smart chord feature is a supposed upgrade to Yamaha's uh, legacy single fingered mode because in single fingered mode if you wanted to have a dominant seventh chord or a minor chord you still need to use up to two fingers to trigger those chords but now with the smart chord feature you can trigger minor chords dominant seventh chord even diminished seven flat five chords with just a single press of one key I believe that the SX700 and SX900 will most likely get this feature in a future firmware update. Now that we're still talking about the styles, finally the PSR SX600 gets the style reset feature. This was introduced when the PSR S970 and the PSR S770 was upgraded to the S975 and the S775. New to the SX600 is the half bar fills. So again, this was only found in the S975 and 775 and the S670 because it didn't have an upgrade to the S675, didn't receive these brand new features. Looking forward, I won't be surprised that the style section of Yamaha keyboards will continue to receive these two very useful features. Now let's talk about two brand new features in the style section which even the Yamaha Genos flagship does not get. This new and improved feature is called the unison and the accent feature. So this is tied to your styles playback. Let me explain to you what this actually is. First let's talk about the unison mode in the style section. So what this does is that it allows you to fatten up your melodic notes and this really is a combination of the existing sync stop feature as well as the harmony feature of the PSR SX keyboards. With both of this in combination, you can create dynamic rhythmic breaks found in your song. And this unison feature is also assignable to a pedal so that you can trigger it using your pedal. Now let's talk about the new style accent feature on the Yamaha PSR SX600. So in the same way the SX700 and 900 and the Genos do not get this feature, this is an evolution, an improvement of a previous feature found on the S-Series keyboard. So on the S-Series keyboard and the SX-Series keyboard, you can actually control the volume of your style based on how hard or how softly you are playing your chords. However, the accent feature upgrades this tremendously. Other than just affecting the volume and dynamics of a style, it also takes the input from your left hand, the velocity value from your left hand, to actually input more notes in the styles or remove notes from the styles so that everything does not sound so mechanical and there will be a greater form of dynamism in it based on your left hand inputs. And of course the whole point of the SX series is the voice and style expandability and you can expand that using the usual YEM which is the Yamaha Expansion Manager and you get a hundred megabyte onboard memory for expansion data. A hundred megabyte might not seem like a lot especially when you compare it to the SX900 which has 10 times more uh, onboard memory at one gigabyte. However, I think the demographics for the SX600 isn't going to be someone who will be loading a lot of uh, additional styles or samples into the memory. And just like the SX700, this SX600 does not support audio styles. So audio styles is slowly being deprecated and it is kind of like a little obligatory token that audio styles is supported in the SX900. One of the new features you will get in the SX600 is a microphone input. So this was not found on a previous 
S670. However, this microphone input is not very similar to those found on the SX700 and SX900 because you are not able to apply vocal effects to it. In addition, you do not get a vocoder that gives you vocal harmony like the SX900. But I am thankful that there is a talk function that is built into this microphone input, which is great for buskers and for interacting with audience between songs and you just want to turn off any of the reverb that is found in your microphone input. You want to note though that this is just a mic input, which is quite unlike that input found on the SX700 and SX900. Because on those two models, this input is not only a microphone input, it is also possible to plug in a guitar into the SX700 and SX900 as well because that input socket supports high Z gain values. And this being an SX line keyboard, you also get the upgraded playlist feature which is great for setting up your song sets that you're going to perform and this is very similar to the Korg's uh, PA series songbook. And just like the S670, the two live control knobs are retained so that you can dynamically morph your sounds, your rhythm, as well as your effects in real time. I love the multi-pads on the S670 and these has been retained pretty much wholesale in the SX600. It not only supports uh, recorded phrases that you play, you can also link up short uh, audio files that you can just trigger by pressing the phrase pads. And this is quite unlike the Casio CTX phrase pads, which only allows you to play back recorded phrases and does not allow you to trigger audio files. One of the biggest reasons to upgrade from the PSR E series to the S or SX series is the style creator. And just like the S670, you can find a style creator here as well. The other feature that is brand new on the SX series and that you are most likely not going to find on the SX700 and SX900 and even the 5000 US dollars Genos is the new Record and Share app. So this Record and Share app is not new. It was actually released in 2017, three years ago for use with Yamaha's electronic drum products. And this actually allows you to make multi-track recording of your performances on the SX600. What is nice about this Record and Share app is that the microphone that you plug in to your mic input and any vocals that you sing will be recorded as audio as well. In addition, you can actually record your audio with video and directly upload within the app itself to YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. And this allows you to no longer need an additional third-party app or a video editing software or to use your laptop or computer in order to upload to social media. The reason why I say the record and share feature is unlikely to be found in SX700, SX900 and even the Genos is because there is a hardware limitation. This app actually makes use of the audio interface found on the SX600. So for the longest time, the PSR E series like the E363 and E463 had an inbuilt audio interface and this record and share app actually captures the audio data from that USB audio interface in order to record it within the app. Unfortunately, the SX700, the SX900 and the Genos does not have the hardware required for a USB audio interface. So no matter how much firmware updating, you are unlikely going to see uh, this record and share app feature that we found on the SX900. With the introduction of the compatibility of the Record and Share app with the SX600, I will not be surprised if the future PSR E373 and the PSR E473, which most likely would have a built-in audio interface already, would be able to use this same Record and Share app to record a video of you playing together with whatever you're playing and literally just upload to YouTube, 
Instagram and Facebook instantly within the app itself. Next, let's talk about the sound amplification. So the amplifiers on the SX600 is pretty much the same as those found on the SX700. However, the speaker size are smaller and there are actually fewer speakers on the SX600 compared to the SX700. So you will get a slightly less powerful sound via the speakers. As the PSR SX600 is intended to target the emerging markets with a much lower purchasing power. The estimated street price of the PSR SX600 should not be more than a thousand US dollars. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Jeremy C. Let's discuss further this SX600 in the comments below. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Has it been up to your expectations? And were you surprised by this launch of this SX600 by Yamaha during this trying time? Do subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you soon in my next video.